Uh, <laughs> Coach, you're doing a story about the defense. Um, how would you say, after the BC loss um, over break, how would you say the defense has played since then? I think they've responded very well. And it, it's, again, a lot of it to do with the energy, the level of communication and hustle has really picked up. And, and you know, their ability to adapt to, to what they're doing on defense, I think, has really improved. And, you know, the number one thing is energy and communication. Would, do you think that they lacked those two things against BC? Yeah, I think our entire team did. You know, we didn't communicate well on the defensive end and throughout the entire field, and and then we were a step behind. We weren't anticipating ground balls. We weren't going full speed at everything, and it kind of put us in a tough situation for that game against Boston College. What was the post game talk with the team like after Boston College? After Boston oh, College, it's a long time ago. Um, it, you know, it, we just talked about. The way, the way it was, you know, you got you got out hustled, got out worked, and, and you remember this, uh, learn from it, and let's move forward. Mm -hmm. And against, what did you see against uh, Connecticut from the defense? Connecticut, they, they played great, you know. Uh, they really, they were dialed in, they communicated, they were ready for whatever UConn brought on the ON. They were there and helped, put pressure on the shots, no, no easy shots, and... Uh, which again, in turn, I think helped Allie make some saves early. She got the first save, and um, I think that's always key to build her confidence. And she had a great half with seven saves, and a lot of it's because there was pressure on the shooters. Mm -hmm. And to and to kind of go back to what you're saying earlier about the need to switch the game, um, how was that like brought to your attention? How did you decide that it, that it would be the Canisius game that you had made? <laughs> we we had we just needed to. to uh, move a game to, to, to get our dates of competition in line and uh, I just reached out to my friend Scott at Canisius and he was willing to move and, and make the adjustments for his home game and uh, you know it was taken care of. What are you thinking about playing a game, getting on the bus, going over there and then playing another game? You know, I, I just love to play you know as a coach it's you know you, the best day of the, the week is game day and getting prepared and Having an opportunity to go play another game is, is I think, uh, awesome for our, our team. You know, to go up to Canisius, solid team, and get a chance to, to maybe get some more players some playing time is, is just a great opportunity for them. Are you worried about fatigue? Or? Uh, you know, I, I think it's it's like anything. It's a good test for us, you know, to, to see how we do. we got to go into an ACC where we play three games in four days against the very best. And, uh, you know, this is a good warm-up to that. And it'll give us some more time off, actually, by doing it. Um, we can take uh, an entire week off to get to get ready for our next game and get some real rest. So I think in the long run, it, it could help us. So you're getting into the final four weeks here. You know, How would you assess this first uh, little over half of the season in terms of strength? And what are some things you guys are going to be working to improve on before ACC tournament time? Well, I, I think uh, we're just trying to stay sharp and gel at the right time. And I think, uh, you know, we haven't played our best lacrosse. We haven't put a full 60 minutes together yet. And I think uh, that's what we work towards every year is, is coming, uh, you know, May, that we're playing the, the very best lacrosse that we can play. And I think, uh, you know, we're, we're in a good position right now. We're comfortable with where we're at and we just want to uh, continue to get better. Obviously, with uh, Duke last year, two very exciting matchups. What are you kind of expecting to see this weekend uh, from them, especially after how last year you guys ended their season? Yeah, well, they're on a roll. You know, they, uh, you know, and, and we didn't end their season, unfortunately, but it, it was another. It was Carolina that did, and um, we just want to uh, play well. You know, we went down to Duke and we lost to them in a tough, tough game down there last year. One goal loss. We did get a chance to play them in the ACC, and we, we got by them, uh, I thought, pretty comfortably. And, and they're going to be fired up about that, and they're going to come back up here trying to make a statement. they got a, a, a four-game four win streak going, and um, they're playing their best lacrosse right now, and, and we need to be focused and energized and ready to play.